Several plates of a capacitor. Okay. One plate is plus, one is minus. There's a constant electric field between the plates. And this small plastic sphere, it hangs, making an angle of 30 degrees. So. So here is 30 degrees, 30 degrees. What is the surface charge density on the capacitor plates? Now, the, to get the surface charge density, we know that the electric field is related to the surface charge density. If I have charge plus Q on this plate, minus Q on that plate, then sigma, so if I have Q and minus Q, sigma is just Q over A, the charge divided by the area of the plate. So each plate has area A, the area of the plate. And the electric field is sigma over epsilon zero. So sigma is simply epsilon zero times E. Epsilon zero is uh, what we call the permittivity of free space, and it's 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 in SI units. So to find sigma, I need to find E. Essentially, that's what the question is. Find the electric field. Now, first of all, why does this hang this way? Why doesn't it hang vertically? Because there's the electric field. The electric field exerts a force on it. Since it has positive charge, the force is QE. FC, or FE, if you like call it, force due to the electric field, FE, or the electric force, is equal to Q times the electric field E. The electric field is to the right, from plus to minus, and it's constant. So, and the, the charge is positive. So the force on it is QE is to the right. But there's MG, which is vertically down. This object has a mass 50 grams. So there's MG down. So you get FE and MG. And then we have the tension. And since the system, since the charge is in, in equilibrium, it means that the three forces must add up to zero. So this takes us to the uh, problem that we have seen before. I have FC. I have MG. If I add up these two forces, I get... A force along the diagonal and then the tension must be equal to this force and opposite. Those must be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. This way the tension when it's, when it's added to Fc and Mg will get zero, because the tension plus 
the red force here, which is Fc plus Mg, they add up to zero. So the three forces then will add up to zero this way. Now the tension, of course, is along the string. Or the, and here's 30 degrees. So we have here also 30 degrees. So it must be that F, I'm going to Fe, okay, instead of Fc. So tangent 30 is opposite over adjacent. The opposite is Fe, which is QE, divided by the adjacent, which is M. G. So E is equal to mg tangent 30 over Q. And sigma is just epsilon 0 E. It's epsilon 0 mg tangent 30 over Q. Epsilon 0 is 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12. M is 50 grams, so that's 50 times 10 to the minus 3. And tangent 30 is 1 over root 3. So over root 3. And then Q. Q is 10 microcoulombs. So that's 10 times 10 to the minus 6. So that gives us whatever. You can just calculate it. This would be sigma. And this, what are the SI units for sigma? Remember, sigma is Q over A, charge over area. So it will be in coulombs per meter square. Coulombs per meter square. So this is just calculation. You have to do it with a calculator to get the answer.